If you run a business in Australia, you will most likely know that a lot of the goods and services you buy and sell in your business are subject to a 10% goods and services tax, called GST. However, some products and services are not subject to 10% GST, and they will be classified as either input taxed, GST free, or BAS excluded. Welcome to Bullseye Money, the channel that helps business owners like you understand finance. And today, we're going to learn what input tax sales and purchases are in relation to Australian GST. Put simply, input taxed is the name for some sales and purchases that happen in Australia that are not subject to 10% GST. Some of the most common input tax goods and services are residential property rental income, income from the sale of second-hand residential property, income from selling shares or other securities, transactions relating to lending money, other financial transactions such as bank account fees, life insurance and superannuation, and certain fundraising activities of charities and government schools. This is not a comprehensive list, so be sure to check with your tax accountant or the Australian Tax Office website for more examples. So why do you need to know if any of your business's transactions are input taxed? Well, if you run a business that is registered for GST in Australia, you need to lodge activity statements. These statements help you report and pay different types of taxes, including GST. And if you have transactions in your business, such as rental income from a residential property or income from selling shares, you do not need to pay 10% GST on them because they are regarded as input taxed. Also, you need to be aware that you cannot claim GST credits for any expenses you pay that help you earn that income. For example, let's say you own a retail store that sells clothes. During the quarter, you sold $11,000 worth of clothes, which included $1,000 of GST. When you lodge your next activity statement, you will need to pay the ATO the $1,000 of GST. But let's also say that a handyman carried out some repair work for your business during that quarter and gave you a bill for $330, which included $30 of GST. Because the expense was incurred in earning income that is subject to 10% GST, you can claim a credit for the $30 of GST you paid to the handyman. This means that when you lodge your activity statement, you will only need to pay $970 of GST to the ATO, which is the $1,000 of GST from your sales, minus the $30 GST credit from the handyman expense. But this is not the case if the income you earned was input taxed. Let's say you have a residential property and you received $5,000 of rental income during the quarter. If a handyman carried out some repair work for your property during that quarter and gave you a bill for $330, which includes $30 of GST, you cannot claim a credit for the $30 of GST because the expense was incurred in earning an input taxed income. And the same goes for any other expenses you incur that help you earn any type of input taxed income. You simply cannot claim a credit for any GST you pay on expenses that are incurred in helping you earn an input taxed income. So as you can see, it is important to ensure you categorize your input taxed items correctly in your bookkeeping software, or you may end up making mistakes on your activity statements. In other words, you may end up paying GST on income you shouldn't, or you may end up claiming GST credits when you are not supposed to. So that's it for this video. If you want to learn more about the other types of transactions that are not subject to 10% GST in Australia, check out our videos on GST free and BAS excluded transactions.